Hey guys, it's Russell back, and on today's video, we're going to be looking at the Rain-X High Foaming Wash and Wax with Carnuba Wax Beads. I don't know if you can see this in the camera, but it has some golden beads. I'm presuming that's the Carnuba Wax infused into this bottle. So we're going to be testing this with our MTM Submachine Gun Foamer. We're going to be using 2 ounces of the Rain-X and 10 ounces of warm water. Then we'll be switching to our bucket test where we use 3 ounces of the Rain-X in our bucket and see how well it performs in a hand wash. Reading the label is pretty much like all the other Walmart um, type washes that we've done. Um, it's you know, they all say, you know, it's not going to strip wax, it's pH friendly, blah, blah, blah. So we're going to try the soap out, see what it does. I've never used this before. In fact, I hadn't really even seen this before. I went to a different Walmart and they had several of these on the shelf. There is one more car soap that I found along with this one, which I'll do on the next video. And that should wrap up the Walmart Clean Series. I'll do a video after that ranking the soaps as I see them, how they've performed, so you guys can get a better idea of how they rank one to, I don't know, I think of them, it'll, it'll be maybe 10 soaps, car soaps. So anyway, enough talking, let's go outside. It looks like it's starting to get cloudy. Hopefully it will not rain on us. I can do this in one take. All right, I've got two ounces of the car soap mixed in with 10 ounces of warm water, and let's see how this foams. All right, initially the foam goes on very thick. It's a very, very dense foam. It has little to no lubrication in it. Um, it's mostly comprised of the small single cell bubbles. There are a few larger bubbles in between. It does go on with that chicken or turkey skin look where it's slightly pop marked. But it does seem to be running rather quickly. So I don't know what to make of this. This is kind of weird. All right, so we'll come back in about six minutes and see what this has done. Alright, so we're here back at about six and a half minute mark, and the, I, I would say probably 80% is gone on the sides of the car. It's probably about 70% left on the tops and the hood. It's really going off the 
the window for sure. But the part that is left is clinging pretty good. So, again, there's no uh, really lubrication that I can feel in it, which is not a good thing. It's just weird how this goes on initially very thick, but it, uh, it just doesn't last. So, we're going to go ahead and pressure wash this off and see if it removes any of our wax or sealant protection and if it removes the non bonded contaminants. Okay, so the um, Rain-X rinses off nice and clean. It doesn't leave any sort of residue. It did a fair job on removing some of the bug guts that were here, just as an initial wash. I don't see that it has removed any of our wax or sealant protection. The Adams paint sealant, liquid paint sealant, is still holding up just fine. Of course, as we expected, it's not going to remove our non-bonded contaminants. No pre-wash is going to do that unless it's super harsh, which you do not want. That will be taken care of in the hand wash. All right, so let's get our bucket test going and see what kind of uh, foam we can get out of this in a hand bucket wash. All right, so I'm going to take our Rain-X high foaming wash and wax and just give you some initial impressions. It is, it has no smell at all, either offensive or pleasurable. There's just nothing there. It's pretty, it's a pretty thick car soap compared to some of the other value soaps that we've tested. I'm going to be using three ounces of this in our water. Now, I don't know if you can see the beads. They're supposed to be the carnauba wax beads. I'm going to actually see if I can get one out that you can see it. I do not know if the camera is going to be able to pick this up. But that's the beads and you can squish them in the whatever that substance is supposedly carnauba wax now some of the beads are floating on the top some of them are suspended in the water there's no lubrication in here that i can feel which is not a good thing most of the soap is still sitting on the bottom of the bucket, so let's get our pressure washer, agitate this, and see what kind of foam we get, and check the lubricity.
Okay, so this has a very, um, in the bucket at least, it has a, a very small and medium structure foam. It is breaking up pretty rapidly. There is a little bit of slickness in the water. So what I'm going to deduce from that is that once the carnauba beads have been um, mixed in with the car soap, then you do get that slick feeling. And it's actually a rather, it's a rather good slickness. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our wash medium. I'm going to use some sheepskin wash pads. And I have to explain this every time. I'm not, why I don't use a two bucket method is because I use four or five wash mitts so that I never take a dirty mitt and put it back in our clean wash water. You don't need to use two bucket method. People ask me, why don't you use a grid guard? Well, because the only thing that goes in here is a clean mitt. I use it on a couple panels and then discard it to put it in the washing machine so that this water stays pristine from the start to the end of the wash never taking dirt that we've already removed from the car and putting it back on the car. So let's get that done and see how this performs in a hand wash. But I have to show you guys this. I'm hoping the camera can pick this up. Everywhere where I did my mitt, you can see the lines of the bubbles or where the uh, where the water's sitting. There's some kind of film left on here. It did it on the the hood. You can see where the wash mitt was. It's not scratched. It's just there's a it's a very will, weird film on the car and I'm going to assume that that's from the uh, Carnuba beaded wax that's in there you can see a very uniform pattern where I wash the car with the mitt it's very very strange All right, so here are my final thoughts on the Rain-X high foaming wash and wax with the Carnuba beads. I don't like it. Um, the reason, the main reason that I don't like this is because of the film that it left behind. And I am assuming, I don't know if the camera's picking this up, I'm assuming it's these, quote, Carnuba beads. Um, one of the, I guess, um, things that or a deal breaker for me on a car wash or it leaving a film behind after you wash whether it's a hand wash or whether it is a um, foam but if it leaves a film behind it's no good for me in fact I'm gonna basically use this to wash the bottom of my lawnmower that's how much I dislike it you know and it's too bad because other, apart from that it probably would have been a middle-of-the-road Walmart uh, car soap, but because of that fact uh, It just doesn't make the cut 
so I had to use detail spray to get that film off here which makes extra work and besides you know it wasn't a great foamer to begin with and I've used almost half the bottle just in with using two ounces in the foam gun and three ounces in the bucket if you want this to really foam and sit there for a good six minutes you probably have to use four ounces and this stuff you know that's 20 fluid ounce bottle and this stuff is not economical so um, that's my final thoughts on the rain -X. it's just too bad that it left that disgusting film on there I'm not a believer of mixing wash and wax it just it fundamentally is not I think it's a gimmick so anyway uh, I've got one more car soap review to do after this one and then I will do a video on my final thoughts and who is the winner of the Walmart clean series so this is Russell and I will see you guys on the next video